What's up, Real Talkers? This your girl, Winter. Right now, we're in front of This Is 50.com Studios. I'm talking about G Unit 50 Cent Studios. And Priscilla Manella from Bad Girls Club Season 7 New Orleans is in the building. Stay tuned. Check it out. We have some juicy, juicy info for you. Peace out. <laughs> Someone starts to me, I let them have it, and that's that. Have I always been a bad girl? Yeah. Since I came out of the room, I was bad. Whenever I go out, I have to be on a table dancing. I have to have the best of the best. Everyone's gonna want to party with me. It's either you with me or you're not. Hey, Real Talkers, it's your girl, Winter. Right now, I'm sitting here with the lovely Priscilla Manella from Bad Girls Club, Season 7, New Orleans. How are you, Priscilla? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Listen, let me just tell you, I'm getting so many hit-ups about you, everybody wants to know about you. Because, okay, you, in my opinion, you're the baddest girl on that shit. <laughs> For real. <laughs> so, I want to know from you, how did you even get started to be on the Bad Girls Club? Well, I was looking for like an official job because I was getting tired of, you know, doing little, little side jobs. So, I was like, you know, I need, I have my degree. I want to use it. So I was looking up online. I saw on Craigslist uh, that they were doing interviews for the Bad Girls Clubs out in New York. My friend was like, you should do it. I'm like, I don't know. He's like, just do it. Try out. So I was like, all right. I wrote a couple of things, and ever since then, they love me. Now, the thing I love about you is because you are real. Now, let me tell you something, because I know all the viewers know this. When it first started, I was like, okay, Priscilla. He was chilling. Yeah, yeah. Then it got popping. And I didn't even, <laughs> when you had that fight with Judy, Real talkers, you know what I'm talking about. When you had that fight with Judy, you were like the only bad girl I've ever seen in that house that really like distort someone's face. Yeah, I was like, yeah. she's gangster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Don't underestimate the quiet people and the little people because they will put you in your place. Like I did. You did. <laughs> I don't want to mess with you, and I think I'm a bad girl. Yeah. So let me ask you this. What started that whole drama with Judy? Because... You know, it used to be the first night that, you know, she came out acting drunk, acting silly, and I tried to talk to her, you know, when I went by, um, I went by the jacuzzi room, I was like, yo, what's the deal with you? Uh, I was like, I'm not trying to fight you, I want to I wanna know why you messed up in the head, and she was still acting up for the cameras and stuff like that, right. so I was like, alright, I'm not going to even play with this fool. I tried <laughs> to talk to her behind cameras and stuff like that, I tried to talk to, like, a normal person, then it was like, alright, now you're not taking what I'm saying to you seriously, now right. I'm going to make a fool out of you, because I feel like I have wise words, and and, you know, she should have took it and learned from it, but she decided to, you know, try to betray me, try to start stuff between me and Nastasia. Right. So she, you know, she was switching up teams real quick. So I was like, all right, now I'm going to show you what I'm working with. I was just sleeping, then I was like, all right, when she started banging on the window, that's when I realized, all right, what the fuck's it's going me. on? And then when I woke up, I saw the shit all over me. I was like, I was like, Tasha, what just happened here? She goes, you threw up on yourself? I was like, nah. And then I heard her slapping them out, and that's when I came out. You can even see when I'm coming out in the hallway. I'm like, right, I'm like, you? I don't even know it's what I was mumbling. Yeah, I didn't even know what I was mumbling to her. Right. You know what I mean? I, I was like, but once she I, she hit me in my head first, I was like, that's it. Right. Put in the bed. And you went in. When they showed that clip when she threw the cereal on your face, Yeah, yeah. I was like, did she feel that? Because yeah, yeah. I, I no, I didn't like feel moved. it. But then all of a sudden, five minutes later, you was like, I'm up now. I'm like, wait a second, you didn't feel that? No, no, I didn't feel okay, it. Yo, right. I was, Did people ask you about that? Yeah, all the time. That's the first thing that they ask me. Right. I was blacked out drunk. And yeah. Now, exclusive, this is exclusive information. Just for curiosity, what kind of cereal was it really? Was it was like my cereal. No, it was, yeah, it was cornflakes. Oh, it, okay. it, it was frosted flakes with strawberries in it, real strawberries. Okay, so yeah. it comes like that in the box. Yeah. That you just... Yeah. And she plotted that. She plotted to do yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know, like, who in the right mind would plot a stunt like that. Right. So I don't know if it was, you know, if there was infliction involved or someone, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And you showed her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got kicked out for showing her. <laughs> exactly. I didn't want you to go. Because, honestly, I felt like, all right, you know, like, she did her, she did her thing. Like, I know that you usually make a vote of who's going to leave. Yeah, so yeah, did yeah. you feel kind of like cheated because you didn't really get the vote to see if everybody wanted you to stay? Because the producers called you up and was like, Yo, you gotta you're go. like Mike Tyson well, yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, to tell you the truth, I was happy to leave. I was like, I couldn't live in the house no more because it was filthy. Right. You got ro you roaches running around, <laughs> pig styes everywhere, garbage cans overflowing, like the kitchen stinks. I can't go in the pool because it's filthy because it's duck, you know. But I think in a way, production tried to make me look like a quiet girl, not right. really saying anything. There's a lot 
lot of stuff that they didn't show. I try to bring positivity to the show. You know, I didn't go on the show trying to run anybody or trying to say, yeah, I'm the biggest, baddest girl. No, I'm not like that. Right. If I'm going to run something, I'm going to run myself. Right. And, uh, you know, I wanted to do it for fun. I didn't do it to, you know, prove anything. I did it for fun. And I was teaching these girls, like, how to gamble. Like, that's a bad girl out of me. I was teaching them how to play You were playing CeeLo? I was playing CeeLo. <laughs> I didn't even play CeeLo. I was C-Lo. teaching, yeah, I was So you, you throwing dice, blowing yeah, them and everything yeah, in the back Yeah, yeah, I was teaching Tasha. I was like, Tasha, you want to make money? All right, let's go. Come that's on, I'm going to you. And yeah, and she, and she made all the money, Tasha. And she oh, even yeah. know how to play, yeah. Wow. When you was with Tasha, it was like you, Tasha, and Shelly. Yeah, yeah. You guys were close. Yeah. Now, I'm watching, and somehow you guys started dividing. Yeah. What was that about? Was it really because of her sexuality? Was it no, because I, of her personality? What was it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always love Shelly. Shelly goes over the line because she's a very emotional person, you know? Right. She takes things to heart all the time. Right. You know, if you're in a bad girl's house, you can't be like that. Right. But, you know, I understood where she was coming from, and I would tell her. You know, Shelly, quit being so nice, quit being so nice. Right. And as you see um, now, you see Nastasi tries to play her, trying to take her weakness. You know? I didn't think she was nice, though. Yeah, you didn't I, think she was nice? I don't know if nice? this is the way yeah. Oxygen portrayed it, yeah, yeah. but I didn't think she was nice because I felt like she kept picking on Judy. Yeah, I know they keep they keep making it look like we were you know talking at home all the time, mm-hmm. but it what that wasn't the you know the matter. Like we did our own thing. Right. We were the ones that wanted to have fun. Anybody can call the house though, right? So you yeah, know. Well, yeah. These girls were giving out numbers to the KFC drive through boys. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen you eating chicken. They were eating chicken. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I'm, and this is no lie, mm-hmm. they would send their fans in the clubs. You know, people want to meet you. Oh, right. how are you? No, no, no. Go fetch me chicken. That's how they were talking? Yeah. Which one was that? Who else? The big one. (laughs) Nastasia. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Hungry. Hungry. (laughs) Well, Nastasia was getting chicken. And how how did you feel? (laughs) How did you feel about Judy spitting on the pizza? What did you think about that? I I just thought that bitch is just trashy. Just trashy, trashy. It's not a good luck. I mean, she was ready to drop her pants real quick for some dude. She don't even know his name. Right. Like, you're not a... Like, how can anyone respect you? You have no class. That's not bad. That's trash. I mean... I don't know. Tell me who you feel like is the baddest girl in the house. And keep it, keep it real. Baddest girl in the house of my season? Of me. Season. Me. Definitely. Me. Without a doubt. Because I would call it how it is all the time. I, you know what? I, that's, that's basically what I did. I always called it how it is. And that was, that's what makes you big. You don't bite your tongue for nobody. Right. Now, are you talking to Nastasia yet? Or? No, no. No, I've been noticing that she tweet. All she does is tweet about me. Oh. All negative Where stuff. Where did the beef between you two come That's from, what I'm though. saying. I, I mean, I that. called it out. I, we, I seen it at the reunion, whatever. And I, I've been calling out. What, what's the problem? What's right. the problem? But I guess because she has nothing else going with her life, right. that she needs to try to prey on me to keep herself relevant. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if that's what makes you happy, I'll see you again. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I'm not. I'm not big on talking. I'm, not I'm big about on to talking. get Priscilla a bulletproof vest, <laughs> seriously, because she is thugged out. Yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not about talking shit. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm quick to hit. So. Right. You know, it, I'm not. I'm, you want to fight it out? Let's fight it out. Did you get any lawsuits for punching her in the face? No. Oh, okay. Because I didn't know. And people that's too. the greatest thing about this show too. <laughs> you can get away with murder. You sign your life away. So right. I'm like, all right. Great. Doing a collaboration with janvanek.com. I mean, I don't know if you noticed the bracelets I was wearing were in the show. The no, thick gold, they were black and white, and uh, they said brutal and karma on it because I'm all about karma. Oh, okay. So I uh, got in touch with the company, and I'm having two bracelets come out by them, which is a uh, fighter and infamous. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm working on the clothing line. How well, can they get that? The um, they, it's coming out right now. So okay. as soon as that goes up, as soon as my website goes up, it's going to be available. Okay. So you can order online. Yeah, I'm launching um, a new clothing company in the beginning of next year called Infamous Royalty. And I'm dropping a mixtape in December. Wait, are you singing or rapping? Rapping. Yeah, Wait, yeah. you know I gotta get... This is get... a pastime. This is a pastime. That's what's Yeah, yeah, up. no freestyles. I'm not gonna show anybody what I'm working with, oh, you know. Man, Bad girls move in silence and okay. violence, so that's how I roll. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, so do that's you, what's going could on. Could you tell us the name of it, the mixtape at least, so they can be on the lookout Wait, for it? No, it's not all, yet? Yeah, okay. not yet, not yet. No but you'll be the first one to know when it's all ready to go. Definitely hit me up. Yeah, when for sure. you're ready to go. For sure. All right. <laughs> thank you so much, Priscilla. Oh, thank we you. We do love you. Listen. Make sure you keep an eye out for Priscilla Manella. She's doing her thing. The baddest, baddest girl Mm -hmm. on season seven. Keep an eye out. Peace out. Yo, it's Priscilla from the Bad Girls Club. I'm keeping it winter all year round.